Folks, I spent a lot of time right over there mm -hmm. stitching the bolts of big news cloth together into my nightly ultra high fashion made to measure couture monologue. But every once in a while, I like to dig deep down into the bargain bin, fish out the old t shirts and acid wash jeans, cut them up, stuff them with cotton, pin some mismatched buttons on for eyes, and sew them into the novelty sock puppet that is my segment. Nothing to be done. There's nothing to be done. I can feel the wheels coming off. I can feel them coming off. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> have you named your school after Robert E. Lee, a general who betrayed our country and lost the war? Well, a lot of schools named after the Confederate general now want to rebrand. But changing all the signs is very expensive, so the solution they are finding is picking someone with a similar name. Like this former Robert E. Lee Elementary, which simply changed Robert E. to Adelaide Lee. That's great. Now, instead of kids having to say, I go to Robert E. Lee Elementary, now they can say, you remember Robert E. Lee Elementary? It's named something else, but yeah, I go there. <laughs> Thing is, there are only so many people named Lee, which explains the newly named Christopher Lee High School. <laughs> go fight in Saruman's! <laughs> Meanwhile, according to new research, goats can perceive each other's emotions from their voices. A fascinating scientific insight, and it explains why my goat left me. I'm not... I'm not a mind reader, Patricia. If you say you're not mad, I think you're not mad, and I go out with the boys. Stop playing mind games, okay? My mom said you'd leave me. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile... It's grad season, and one 12th grader in Indiana named Evan Dennison is going viral for his grad photos, <laughs> reclining in a field in his bathrobe. <laughs> Sup? <laughs> the name's Evan. Oh, me? Just in this field, studying for AP badass? <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, this was not easy to pull off, turns out, apparently. Evan's mom hired Evan's cousin, a professional portrait photographer, to take these photos. And Evan's mom even sent the clothes she wanted Evan to wear. But Evan showed up in his bathrobe. <laughs> and the cousin said, Why are you doing this to me? Please just wear the clothes your mom sent. <laughs> to which Evan responded, I'm going to be a legend. <laughs> ah, yes! Ah, yes! yes! Right you are, Evan. You know, in these troubled times, we aren't sure if our public figures even have a moral center, a set of guiding principles we know they will stand up for or recline seductively for. <laughs> so when we find such a person, the choice is clear. Evan Dennison, 2020, the only thing we have to fear is poison oak. <laughs>